How to use Google Forms tutorial for beginners. Hi guys, welcome back to the channel and for today's video, I will show you how you can easily create different forms with Google Forms. It can be a forms to collect your website visitors information like their name and email and make use of this gathered information for your email marketing. Or it can be a survey form asking participant to answer a survey or it can be a participant feedback form if you had an event and after the event, you like your participant to provide their feedback. So you can make use of this Google Forms. So inside your Google Drive, I know that you are familiar with the other Google apps here, like for example, the Google Docs, the Sheets, Slides, and here you have your Google Forms. If you can't find it here, then just go to more and can find it here. So let's just go ahead and click on Google Forms to get started. And here you will be redirected to this page and you have here your untitled form. So first we can name our form here. So let's assume that this form that I will be creating today is a survey form for a freelancer. So let's go ahead and add the title here, freelancer survey. And here you can add a form description about this freelancer survey that you are creating. So let me just put it here, add your description. And then down here is where you can add your question. So as default, you have untitled question here and we can change this one. But before that, let me go ahead and give you a tour here. So here you have your add question button. Here you can add additional question as you can see. And then here you also have your import question. So you can import some question here that you created before. So for example, here I have a form that I created before. I can make use of this one if I like to. And then the other one is your add title description. So you can make use of this to add title just like this one here. So you have your title and then your description here. It's like another title. And here you can also add images and also you can add video. And here you can add another section here. Like for example, you will be adding another section. So you have now section one and then the section two. This is perfect if you have a long survey and you don't want the participant to see how long it is, then you can just divide your survey into different sections. So for example, in one section, you can only include five questions or 10 questions, and then the other will be on the next section so that they will just click on next and then continue answering the survey so that participant will not be bored when they see that there is a long survey to answer. So going forward, so that's all the buttons that you have here. So let's just go ahead and add our first question up here. So for the first question, let's just put here, what is your name? And as you can see, the uh, Google automatically changed the information here. As you can see, we have now the short answer text. But when you click it here, you also have different option. You can include a paragraph or a long answer. You can also add multiple choice or check boxes, drop down. You can also add file upload. If you allow your participant to upload some file, it can be a PDF file or a screenshot or a video. And then the linear skill, this is for the rating. Like for example, from one to five, please rate this following, this following, something like that. And then you have your multiple choice grid and your checkbox grid. And you can also add some date here, for example, for meetings or for your available time. And you also have your time here. So for now, let's go ahead and keep this short answer so that our participant can just enter their name here. And then down here is where you can see a duplicate to duplicate this question. 
and also you have your delete button here to delete this question. And for this required, you can enable this if you required your participant to provide this information. And if this information miss or leave blank, then the participant is not able to submit the survey or not able to proceed to the next step or next section. So let's go ahead and keep it required since we need their name. And then let's go ahead and add another. So for this question, let's say we will be asking for the location. So let's go ahead and ask which country you're from. And then let's go ahead and add another question here. So let's go ahead and add another question here. Let's say for this income, if how much is your monthly income? And let's go ahead and change this one to drop down so that our participant can just select one of the choices that we will be providing to them. So for example, the first option here is this will be a dollar currency. So 500 to one thousand dollars two thousand one to five thousand dollars for example so that will be the option that our participant can select from the drop down here so we have our second section here so we can first give a section title here let's say it's gonna be the part two and then your description here a description and then we can add another question here in your section two. So let's go ahead and ask if where did our participant get their client or find maybe. So here we can add another option here. We can make use of the drop down again since that is more easier for our participant. Okay, so that's the options that our participant can select from. Or we can also make it as a checkbox so that our participant can select more than one here. And by the way, you can also add some theme here. So as you can see from the top over here, you have your customized theme. So you can add your header. So if you will be adding an image to your header, then it will be added or appear here above your survey. And then you can also change the color of your survey. You can make it like the red one, as you can see, or just blue, or you can make it orange. Let me keep the blue one. I like that. And also you can change the textile here, like your header, the questions, textile, but I will just keep the Roboto one that is simple and easy to read. So I will go ahead and close this one. And over here is you can also check the preview of your form. So let's go ahead and click to see the preview of our form that we just created. And here we have our name. What is your name? Here is the question that we have. And then as you can see, there is a next button here because we have a second question and I'm not able to go through to the next page because I set this, what is your name question as required. So let's go ahead and click next again. And as you can see, we're able to go through the part two of our survey. So here I can select some answer and I can submit this form. So for now, let me just go ahead and close this. So before we send our form that we just created, let's go ahead and first check our settings. Here you have your different settings for your form. So you can make your form a quiz. And then when you click it, then you have a different option here for you to make your form a quiz. So you can um, enable the missed question, correct answer, and point values. 
And then you also have your settings here for responses, like you can collect their email address if you like to. You can enable it for you to collect their email address. You can make use of that also for your email marketing. And then you can also send responders a copy of the response. And then you have option when requested or always. So let's just go ahead and select when requested. So once you set up your settings, then you can go ahead and send your form to your participant. So here is your option on how you can send your form. So you can send it by providing the email of the participant here. Or you can go ahead and simply copy this link. This is the best way and send it to their prospect or participant. So here you can also shorten the URL of your form. And lastly, embed HTML. So you can copy this one and then you can attach this HTML code to your website so that it will show up or added in your website. And once they answer the form, you will also see the responses over here. So you just need to click here. And for now, we have zero responses because we just created our form. But once there is a participant answered your form, then you will see the response here. So that's how you can create your Google Forms inside the Google Drive. So I guess that's all for today's video, guys. And I hope that you learned something today. If you have any questions, just comment down below. And thank you so much for watching.